My name is Chihiro Furuya. I'm a lowly freshman at Shio Prefectural High School. <laughs> what a waste. I'm a devotee of the undead. I like horror in general, but zombies really speak to me. I know this will sound weird, but ever since I was a kid, I've dreamed of having a zombie girlfriend. Please, I don't want to hurt you. I didn't choose to become a zombie. Deep down, I'm just a regular girl who wants to be loved. You are one twisted perv, man. You want to get it on with a zombie chick? I don't remember saying anything about getting it on. Whatever. I think it'd be cool. How is doing a zombie girl cool? I can't really explain it. There's just something about him. <laughs> well, recent studies suggest that men are attracted to vulnerable women. Perhaps that's why he finds them so appealing, you think? We know you're smart. You don't have to rub it in, Einstein. Uh, oh, okay. The guys just don't get it. I, I can't say I blame them. It's hard to explain, especially since I don't really understand the attraction myself. This is Shirioji Temple. There's nothing particularly special about it, except it's my home. I live here with my grandpa, Jagoro, my old man, Doan, the temple priest, and my kid sister, Mara. My dad makes breakfast, but other than that, she does all the housework. You don't meet many 12-year-olds like her. We are thankful for this meal. Very Amen. thankful Amen. indeed. Mero, dear, why is there slimy green stuff floating in my miso soup? Don't freak out, Grandpa. It's just cabbage. Ah, I'll be damned. That's Babu. He's a stray cat who became a part of the family when I found him wandering the temple grounds. Wow. Mero! Why is there slimy green stuff floating in my miso soup? Like I said, it's cabbage, Grandpa. Ah! Grandpa's senility can be stressful, but our family's pretty happy. Well, there's one downer. My mom died when I was little. I barely even remember her anymore. Life is easier when your memories start to fade. We still miss her, but it gets a little better every day. Our family's happy. At least we were, until one of us died. <laughs> Babu! Jiro, I'm so sorry. He just jumped out in front of my truck. I didn't have time to stop. He was hit by an old man from the neighborhood who I'd known forever. It's not like I could rage at the guy, so I just cried <laughs> like a baby. Mama!
Sorry about this, kids. We're not allowed to hold services for animals inside the temple. Personally, I don't mind, but it might upset our parishioners. They just don't understand what we're going through. Hey, brother. What? I know as temple children, we're supposed to stay strong, but would it be okay to cry at a time like this? Yeah, we're only human. True. <laughs> Babu's death hurt more than I ever could have imagined. He wasn't even that old. He should have had a long life ahead of him. But it was taken from him far too soon. It wasn't fair. That's when a crazy idea popped into my head. Found it. I went to visit a relative in Tohoku last year, and as we were sorting through stuff to donate to a local museum, I came across something amazing. It wasn't really a book per se, more like a collection of notes. It was so beat up I couldn't even tell when it was written. The museum's curator told us it wasn't worth anything, but after skimming through it, I was sure they were notes on the reanimation process. I knew it was probably a load of bull, but I figured it couldn't hurt to give it a try. I had chosen an abandoned hotel as my lab. I knew nobody would come looking for me here. My love of zombies is about to be put to the test. What am I gonna do when there's a real one right in front of me? I'm gonna bring you back to life, Bob. Things got weird on the second day. Excuse me. <clears throat> what exactly are you doing? Nothing! Jeez, you're like a freaking ninja. That's not a valid answer to my question. You can't do nothing. Your behavior's been so suspicious lately. I'm not doing anything. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Oh, he's up to something. Just hang in there, little buddy. Earth to Feruya, are you even listening to me, dude? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm listening. You know, you're a terrible liar. The apathetic look on your face totally gives you away. Come on. Why would I lie about something like that? Fine, then why don't you share your thoughts on the subject? And that was? <gasps> I knew you weren't listening. I was talking about how our school's different from Sanka Girls. Well, I can think of one glaring difference. Sanka Academy students are some of the brightest and most beautiful girls in Japan. Meanwhile, the boys at our school are a bunch of dopey schmucks. I know they're superior to us in every way, but why do we have to take different routes to school? Maybe because Sanka's on the opposite side of the river. But they're so far away! Ah! The only reason I came to Shia was I thought I'd meet a nice young lady, or two, or three! How am I gonna meet the woman of my dreams when I can't even get close enough to charm him? More like scare him. Hey, have you heard about the celebrity hottie? <laughs> You'll want to swim across the river when you see her, trust me. Look, there she is! You see that girl with the long black hair? She's the daughter of the Sanka Girls Academy director, Rhea Sanka. Wow, you guys have no idea what you're missing. She's beauty and elegance personified, and her family is thinking loaded, so when we get married, I won't ever have to work again. <laughs> She's her own person, you know. No, come on! Don't tell me you wouldn't want to follow in your rich parents' footsteps. Delivery! 
Thanks for swinging by, Ronco. I really appreciate it. Mero's at a school function, so I had to improvise for dinner. You just say the word and I'll be right over, Uncle. It's nice to get a break from the restaurant and Mom. <laughs> I bet it is. It's so quiet. Where's Chihiro? <sighs> Probably lying down in his room again. Is he okay? Well, I'm no psychologist, but I get the feeling he's depressed. I would be too if I lost my best friend. Oh, he misses Babu. <laughs> wakey, wakey! What do you want, Wonko? Oh, please, don't get up. Here you go. Uh, oh, right, I forgot I lent this to you. That's not the only thing you forgot, Short Bus. You promised you'd come to my place over the weekend to pick it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a busy weekend. You expect me to believe that? You were sitting here watching movies alone when you could have watched them with me! Hey, can I ask you something, Wonko? That would be missed to you. I miss Wonko. What's up? Is there a girl at your school named Rhea Sonka? Well, yeah. Why do you ask? I was just wondering if she's cool. I couldn't tell you. I don't know her, but she's the director's daughter, so she's kind of hard to miss. She's okay, I guess. Why the sudden interest? Don't tell me you've got the hots for her, you horned like up. I was just asking a simple question. Elsu Taco was making a big deal about her. <laughs> I thought you were in her sulking because Babu died, but you're just daydreaming about some no, chick. No, that's not true. Would you let go of me already? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guess I'll catch you later. Bye. You better not forget to come by again this weekend. Who knows what'll happen? <laughs> I might decide to have my way with you. <laughs> She's insane. And bring another zombie movie for me to borrow. Just take one with you now! <laughs> Ranko Saoji is my cousin. She works for a family's restaurant, and she's a sophomore at Sanka Academy. Jeez, why does she like playing the bossy older sister? She's only a few months older than me. So he's got a thing for Rhea Sanka. Probably would have been smart to make a copy first. The book is incredibly fragile, and there's a page that's unreadable. It's calling for some kind of poisonous plant, but its name is completely blacked out. I had tried using water hemlock the night before, but that didn't work. Okay, here's hoping this one will do the trick. I feel bad carrying Babu around in a cooler. If I can't get this to work by the weekend, I'm gonna bury him. <laughs> Here we go again.
Now what'll I do? So, it's really coming down, isn't it? Please, don't tell anyone what you heard. I'm begging you. I'll do anything. Nobody knows. He'd be so angry. Promise you won't tell. Okay, I promise. But can I talk about the stuff that I heard last night? You heard what I said at the well yesterday, too? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that, huh? I wish I could just curl up and die. I'd be better off that way. Maybe I could come back as someone else and live a happy life. Things at home might be tough, but it's not worth dying over. I don't want to sound insensitive, but it's kind of nice to know you trust fun kids have it hard, too. We think you've got it easy just because you're wealthy. I can only imagine what it's like to have overbearing parents constantly shoving rules and etiquette down your throat. If I had to deal with that crap, I bet I'd be out there screaming my head off with you. So what brings you here? Are you trying to escape your troubles like I am? Oh, no, 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 no. No way! You're bringing him back from the dead?! That's amazing! Are you sure it's going to work? It hasn't yet, but I'll keep trying. I don't know what to expect, but even if he comes back as a zombie, it's better than not having him around. I guess so. I don't think Babu's gonna be too jazzed about joining the Legion of the Undead, but I'm hoping he won't hold it against me. I know it's selfish, but I just want my little buddy to be part of my life again. It's a win-win situation. I get Babu back, and he gets... Now that I think about it, maybe it'd be better for both of us if I gave up. No! You can't give up on Babu yet! I'm sure he'd be happy to see you, even if it meant he had to become a zombie! Well, that's one way to convince me. I just realized you never told me your name. Oh, it's Chihiro. I'm Rhea. Nice to meet you. Don't you mean nice knowing you? I didn't think you'd be sticking around. Oh. Actually, I was wondering if it'd be okay for me to come back tomorrow. Huh? You for real? Why would a proper lady like you want to help out a nerdy guy like me? I've always wanted a pet, but my father won't allow it because he's a germaphobe. If this works and we bring Babu back to life, it'll be the closest I've ever been to having a furry friend. Oh, I mean, he's your cat, but I hope you'll let me play with him. Well, maybe. <sighs> Earlier you said you would do anything I want, remember? Yeah, I remember. You want to play with Babu? Then prove your loyalty by acting as the test subject for the potion. You want me to drink it? That's right. Didn't you say you wanted to die and come back as someone else? This is your chance to become a zombie. <laughs> I was only kidding. Man, I had no idea you were so gullible. You really shouldn't believe everything you're told, princess. I'm telling you, guys can smell naivety a mile away. And I know plenty of dudes who would love to take advantage of you. Well, how would I know that? I've never been on... I... I've never been on a date with a boy before. Well, not yet. But I don't need protecting! Quit treating me like I'm a little girl! The princess of Sanka Academy's never had a boyfriend? I want to, but I can't. It's my father. Fine, you win. All right, what about you? What about me? Uh, well, have you ever had a girlfriend before? I haven't met the right girl. You don't have any right to tease me about never having a boyfriend when you've never had a girlfriend. I don't want one. I have no interest in dating regular girls. Why is that? My heart has been stolen by the beauties of the undead. What? I know you think I'm joking, but I'm not. They're just the only ones who do it for me. I've loved them ever since I was a little boy. I would totally have a girlfriend right now if I could find a zombie girl. But they don't exist, so what can you do? Call me crazy, but I refuse to give up hope. I mean, you never know, right? What's the matter? You feeling inferior? Chihiro? I'll do whatever it takes, as long as you promise whenever I become a zombie, you'll take good care of me. 
<sighs> well, uh... <laughs> Silly boy, you really shouldn't believe everything you're told. I should head home before it gets too late. Good night. Damn, I can't believe she turned the tables on me like that. Oh, Chihiro? Uh. Just wanted to say, thanks again for letting me help you. See you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> At that moment, I never could have imagined. That the beautiful girl in front of me... Chihiro, please help me. Would eventually become a zombie. to read the preview? I don't know if that's such a good idea, especially not with this script. Would you mind if I had a quick word with the writer before we record? Oh, we're already recording. I see. Okay then, here goes nothing. Next time on Sankareya, Episode 2, it was successful. Tune in to see Mero! I feel like I don't even know you anymore. <laughs>